Welcome, everyone, to the call today. Thanks for being on here. We're very excited about what we have going on here, a very um, very powerful product and a very powerful opportunity, uh, a really great opportunity as a sales rep and um, with the industry. And when this was brought to me, I was like, wow, this is ingenious. And when, when we get into the details, and I won't even spoil it all, I'll let, I'll let everyone on the call handle it, you know, the, the speaker handled on the call today. But uh, very exciting what we have going on, um, very incredible as far as an opportunity, product, and right moment. And um, so Keith actually brought this to me, and, and Keith was telling me, just speaking some great things about it, when I saw it, I'm like, well, wow, this really is a great deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have Keith do the introduction, and I'm introducing Keith, and uh, very excited. We told some of you a little bit about this product, but um, we're going to go up there. So, Keith, why don't you go ahead and uh, get the introduction, maybe tell a little about your background on this product and then how it came to you and then about the guys and we'll and then bring them on in. Thank you. All right, great. Hey, everyone. Uh, Keith Eichley here. Uh, many of you may have heard me before on the, the calls here. We're, Rachel Surges and I are the uh, co-founders and or founders, I guess, the two of us, of uh, Mosaic, which is a marketing company. And uh, this particular product came to us as uh, – I met uh, one of the, I think Matt, I think not, Matt and um, Brett and Dave are all on the call. Is that right? We have multiple folks here. I think. I actually wasn't sure who all made it to, to introduce it on their side. But um, I, came, I met Matt through my Mosaic world, and we were talking about marketing products, and we have some synergies and some different things. And he was kind of brought this idea just for, I think, some marketing kind of thought, perspective on, on what he was working on. And I got to tell you, when I saw this, my eyes and my mind, and I, by the way, at the time that he, we spoke, I had a million other things going. We just launched a, a company, and it's taken off super fast. So my time frame and is, is, is very, very limited, but I made extra time for this because it just took me, it kind of caught me off guard. I, Brett Hoskins. Oh, Brett, Brett's on now. Um, so anyway, so when Matt brought it to me, I literally had to stop everything I was doing to make sure I understood it right, because that's how powerful it was. And I'm not going to explain the details of what it is, but let me just give you a couple <laughs> highlights why you're going to want to listen up and so glad you joined this call. What I love about what they're about to share is about making a difference. So this is not only a product that is going to clearly increase, provide uh, residual streams, which we all love but at the same time really make a huge difference and huge impact in the world today for folks that are, are anybody who's struggling to get the care that they want and they need. And when they take you through how it works and what they do, they're gonna, I think they're going to share more of the tacticals, how the program works. But I will tell you, I have not even fully implemented what we're planning to do to market this product, and I've already just last week alone have six – actual doctors in the line queued up to want to uh, uh, learn more about this product. And I have folks already on my team out there getting folks without even our materials in place. That's how, like, show-stopping it is. And um, one last thing before I, I guess I turn it over, uh, I was talking to Vince, and I, I was telling Vince what we're doing. Rachel and I, and part of the reason we don't have our marketing materials, because we actually just created an organization around this, fun, around this concept, an actual true organization to go out into the marketplace. It's kind of like our way to give back, uh, you know, in our lives. And we've got some, some marketing funnels and campaigns that everybody can tap into to accelerate the use of this product and the impact that it can make and everybody can win. We're really, really passionate about not just the people. Matt, I have, I've only met Matt personally, um, uh, the, um, Brett and uh, – Dave, I think I haven't actually met, but what their mission is, what their cause is, what they're doing, I 100% am in love with. And Matt's an amazing individual. Their hearts are big. Their mission is big. The product's big. So uh, get ready for something super, super cool. And uh, I think that was – oh, and then I guess one last thing is I, you know, I was talking with Vince. In maybe in another couple sessions or weeks or whatever, we'll share more about how we take this even further. But – you, you guys are going to have everything you need out of what they share here today to start making incredible impacts in, in lives of others. And, and of course, it, it'll, a side benefit will be your own income. So that was it. That's what I wanted to share. Um, and we're going to introduce a couple folks from Fiscus Care, which are going to walk through what this amazing thing is that I've been, been sharing about. I didn't want to take the, steal any of the thunder. So yeah. I don't know who's picking hey, it up guys, from there. This is 
I, I'll pick it up from there. I was kind of on the list uh, to, or on the schedule. This is Brett Hoskins. I'm the CEO of Fiscus Care. And I wanted – who am I speaking with? I'm sorry, guys. I joined a little bit late. I was got hung up in some uh, traffic and, and just couldn't get on. Who who am I talking to? Who's on the call? The whole sales team? Well, Brett, this is – this is Jeremy, and uh, there's we got Vince yeah. and Keith and uh, Matt and Dave, and then a whole bunch of uh, the Agora families also here. Our uh, our sales advisors are on the phone with us as well today. Okay, great. You know, I, it was set on the schedule for me to give you guys a little bit of a, a history of what uh, what we've done. So I was just going to introduce myself. I'm Brett Hoskins. And I have about 30 years of experience in the orthopedic implant business and, and other healthcare-related businesses. And I've always been a product guy. And I've always, uh, the last 25 years of my life, I've been a, a, a device guy. And I got out of that about four or five years ago and got kind of wrangled into getting into the patient finance business. And the reasons were, one, I really understood the medical industry. Uh, two, I had a lot of customers that have a major problem with high out-of-pocket costs. You know, everybody, since since uh, the Affordable Care Act came into play, it got a lot more people insurance, but it also made it where a lot of people can't use the insurance they have without coming out with a substantial out-of-pocket cost. Um, and there's a tremendous amount of people out in the world that are wanting procedures that they don't have insurance for, like dental implants, uh, uh, all kinds of dental care, veterinary care, um, stem cell injections. You know, the, the list goes on and on. Cosmetic surgery, there's a lot of procedures that don't have any insurance coverage. And I really liked what you guys were saying when I first got on because we've been talking a lot about this, and – we have the opportunity to help literally millions of patients get the care they need uh, in spite of the fact that they have these outrageous out-of-pocket costs. And that, that was really one of the reasons. One of the things that I did when I first got into this business, some guys that introduced me to it with a what we call, and Dave will talk to you guys a little bit. I'm assuming you all are on a go-to-meeting type thing where Jed can share his screen. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, and Dave can show you the mechanics of it in that. Um, but, you know, what got me into this business was, hey, we want to start a company that competes with Care Credit. Well, that, that's all well and good, except we, didn't want, we, we ultimately do not want a company that has any resemblance to Care Credit or any what we call marketplace lenders. And it's been a tough battle for the last three years, to come up with companies that can actually give money and put money into the medical marketplace. The tradition, they have a really high default rate, and the interest rates are outrageous, and consequently, the people who actually get the loans that they need just to get a knee scope or a shoulder surgery, um, you know, maybe 20, 25% of the people actually get those loans. And that leaves literally millions of patients out there that are struggling and have no way to, to, to get these out-of-pocket costs. And so what it's done in the healthcare system is it's created good guys and bad guys in the, in the facilities. The good guys let people walk, do the surgery, send them a bill 30 days later and hope they get the money from them. Those are the good guys. The bad guys turn them away at the point of service and say, come back for your spine surgery when you have $10,000. So it's, it's forced these medical providers who their number one goal is to take care of patients into good guys and bad guys. The problem is when they're a good guy, the patient stiff them. The patient gets a $5,000 bill, and they panic. They hide the bill. They hide it from their spouse. They put it underneath the letters, the, the other mail. They don't do anything with it. Then they get their next bill. And then they know what's in there, so a lot of times they don't even open that one. They still owe $5,000 or $10,000. And what ultimately happens is those patients hide from that bill. It affects their emotional state, and then a lot of them get turned over to collections for the 5000 not the $100 a month that we could set them up on, and, and it ruins their financial life. 
and most of the providers that we know don't want to do that to patients. So Dave and I worked for three years to figure out a way to help patients and do this, and we got really lucky and found a dentist and an IT guy who had been thinking down the same lines as us, and they came up with, with the program that Dave's going to show to you. From that, from, from that standpoint of taking care of patients and helping people and helping providers take care of patients, we, I think it's, it's fantastic. I think it's, this gives everybody in the, that on this phone call the opportunity to have a profound impact on somebody that cannot get their knee fixed or their back fixed or whatever fixed, and all of a sudden you've, you've allowed them to go in there for the few thousand dollars out of pocket they couldn't come up with and do it. But from a completely different angle, there's a lot of money to be made in the game here, the sales end of this business, that the accounts are, they number in the, literally in the millions. Um, everything from dentist offices to uh, physicians' offices to surgery centers to hospitals to med spas to veterinarians uh, to funeral homes, there, is, there are just dozens and dozens of types of providers that can take advantage of this benefits, uh, this payment plan. Um, and so from a, from a sales standpoint, there, this, this can really start building up, and, and Dave can show you guys a little bit about that, and, and the Agora guys can show you a little bit more about it. Um, but I've been very impressed with the, the way the money can stack up while you're helping patients and, and really – becoming a partner with your providers and and they really like what they see and they like what you're doing for them so i hope i'm not too wordy and i didn't really have any canned speech or prepared uh statements and i could talk for hours on this stuff uh but i think it's best to use the time more wisely and dave wessels i'll introduce dave dave's my partner he struggled through this whole trying to figure out a way to handle this outrageous uh, out-of-pocket cost just for a quick example Next year, it's going to be about a $608 billion market for patient responsibility amounts. That's your market for setting up these payment plans, a $608 billion market. So, Dave, I'm going to turn it over to you, and uh, thanks, guys. Hey, uh, this is Dave Wells. I'm talking to you from San Diego. Uh, you know, uh, as Brett said, he and I partnered up um, a few years ago. Prior to that, I spent eight years in uh, selling regenerative medicine, uh, and, and prior to that, I spent 25 years doing IT consulting for the Fortune 500. You know, I, I, a buddy of mine talked me out of IT into uh, healthcare, and, and I'm glad he did because I was ready for something that was that uh, had a bigger impact on on people, and and, and regenerative medicine was really interesting. The problem with in regenerative medicine is it's all out of pocket. It's it's totally a cash pay um, type of treatment protocol, even though it really works. Uh, so so very few people could could spend the four or five thousand dollars it costs for stem cell injections, even though it's really effective. So so Brett and I started looking for a way to 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 help solve that problem. You know, I'm going to I'm I'm going to show you a deck. This is exactly the the conversation I have with docs every day. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it. So so put yourself in a doc's chair. You're a business owner, whether you're a doc, uh, a single provider, you're you're a, the managing partner of a group, uh, you're the administrator of a surgery center or or the administrator of a hospital. It's a, it's basically the same conversation. You know, I'll I'll start by asking them a little bit about what they're delivering and I and I really want to know what services they're offering that are pricey, where the patient's out of pocket is is three or four or five or even more a thousand dollars, because I'm going to come back and use that as an example. You know, when when you start talking about those types of numbers, pulling five grand out of your pocket to pay for, you know, your deductible for a, a spine surgery or a shoulder surgery uh, or or a stem cell, cell injection, you know, only twenty out of 100 Americans can write that check. And it doesn't matter where in the country you live. I don't care if you live in Beverly Hills or, or Miami Beach, Florida, or, or Chicago, Illinois. About 20 out of 100, um, they have the ability to write those kinds of checks. And, and so then you have 80 people, they, they want to consume 
the healthcare services you deliver. They need what you have. They need what you what you can do, uh, but they get they just can't write the check, and they and they don't have credit card space. So so they need to apply for financing, and if these eighty apply for financing through the traditional marketplace lenders, only twenty five percent of them will get approved. When I say marketplace lender, this is a term Brett and I invented. What we mean by that is. It's the lender who looks at FICA scores. They look at uh, debt-to-income ratios. They look at income levels. They look at your credit report and whether or not you've been a good citizen and paid on time or if you've got collection notices or late payments. They use the traditional criteria any bank uses. And, and when, when you apply the traditional criteria, about 25%, or you'll pick off another, lo another 20 of these original 100, you'll get them. But that's all you'll get. And so then you have... 60 out of our original 100 who need care, they want what the doc can deliver, they just can't pay for it. And as Brett said, you put the doc between a rock and a hard place. He either performs the procedure and bills you later and prays like crazy that he gets paid, or or he tells the guy, come back when you, you know, go away, come back when you have money. Either one of those options is really bad on a doc. It's hard, that's a hard decision. And because docs have plenty of experience playing, you know, being the banker, and they no longer are willing to do that because they've been burned too much. So, so that's the landscape. You know, with lending, it's all about managing defaults. You know, the lenders, they can manage the cost of money and operating costs. Those are they can control those pretty well. The biggest, the big issue is defaults, and somebody's going to pay for that risk, right? Either the patient or the provider, or a combination, but somebody's going to pay for that for that that cost. You know, on my screen, uh, you I have FICA scores from on the left hand side really bad, and on the right hand side really good, and you see the national default rates. So you know, people with great credit they rarely default as you would expect. On the other hand, people on the you know with lousy credit they default way too often. So, so and, and the average default rate in the country today is 6.75. You know, here's what Brett and I have learned over the last almost three years now. You know, all these all these marketplace or traditional lenders, they will not touch anybody who's at this average or below. They they won't touch anybody left of this line. In fact, they won't touch anybody who's near the line. And the reason makes total sense. You know, why would you give money to people who who uh, uh, are gonna are not gonna pay it back? That that makes total business sense. Here's the problem, Doc. Um, it takes away 50 to 60 percent of your potential patient load, and, and that's a hard pill for docs to swallow. So, so that's that's the that's the opportunity we saw. And everybody knows about Care Credit. They've been in the marketplace for 30 years plus. They uh, two years ago they were a billion dollar company. You know, they they everybody compares themselves to Care Credit. You know, Brett and I we first went to these guys, uh, and, and we we met them. They were basically they were based out of San, in, uh, San Diego, they, they said, we're just like Care Credit, but we're better. We'll go down to 620. <laughs> then, then we found these guys. These guys were up in L.A. We're just like Care Credit, but we're better. We'll go down to 600. And, and then we went to these guys. These guys are up in the Bay Area. We're just like Care Credit, but we're better. We'll go down to 580. And I'll tell you, that sounded great. And, and so we had a bunch of, our, bunch of our providers, a bunch of our clients, were using these solutions. And then we sat back and looked for results. We actually looked at the statistics. And you know what we found out? These guys were no different than Care Credit. They would not approve anybody below 675 either. So regardless of what they told us, what we actually saw in results was totally different. And, and so Brett and I, we just went from one to the next to the next. We were looking for somebody who, uh, who delivered what they actually said, and we were looking for a solution that was fair. Something was fair to the patient, and fair for the provider because you know, whether you know it or not, care credit, it's a really good solution for the provider, but it's horrible for the patient. It's bad. Um, and, and, and some of these are the same way. And, and then we found a couple of solutions. Here's one of them right here, and here's another. Um, these guys are really good for the patient, and they're really bad for the provider. And, and so we, we just kept going from one to the next to the next, looking, trying to find something that actually worked. We wanted a win-win. You know, when we say that, what we meant, you know, the cost of the patient had to be fair. We had one of our one of our you know, previous vendors. They actually approved the person. They approved this person for a loan. Uh, they offered the person a 36% APR, 36%. You know, um, of course, the patient didn't take it. 
these patients, they, they may be broke, but they're not stupid. And when you offer them 27, 29, 31, 36 percent, they just walk away. They say, heck with it. I'm not going to do it. So it doesn't do anybody any good. Costs have to be fair. We, we don't want to hurt anybody with late fees. And, and whether you know this or not, this is where Care Credit lives. This is exactly their business strategy. They make, they make their cash off of late fees. And they hit, when people are late, they drill them. We just think it's blatantly wrong. It's just wrong to treat people that way. We just don't like it. We, we, wanted to, we, won't, we don't want a solution that looked like that. We didn't want to hurt anybody's credit because the folks who are applying, their credit's already jacked up. We didn't want to make it worse. We wanted a process that was easy. You know, the, all, all of these lenders, they all use online technology today, and they all promise, they all say this, hey, it's an easy, easy online application. You can do it in minutes. What they don't tell you is that uh, after you fill out that one first online form, you're going to probably have to send in a couple of pay stubs. You might have to send in some bank statements. I even had one lender uh, ask for a uh, tax return. And, and, I, and I, saw that, I saw that person, that applicant, they basically just abandoned the process. They walked away. The process has to be easy because if it's hard for people, they won't do it. They just simply walk away. And then finally, it's got to work within everybody's budget. This is what we meant by fair to the patient. On the provider side, the costs simply have to be fair. I'm going to back up a slide. Yeah, I, I told you we worked with these guys, these, these two folks. They would actually approve every patient regardless of credit score. The problem was they took 35, 40, and 45 percent of the procedure costs. So, so imagine you're a doc, you're delivering a four thousand dollar procedure, and, and these guys will approve the patient, but they'll take they'll take two thousand bucks. Cost of the provider have to be fair. It just has to, it has to be it has to be a fair solution. Docs want guaranteed non recourse money. They want a solution that's flexible. And, and, it, and when the, when a patient wants an easy process. Docs want a fast process because if, if the patient has to leave the office and go home and finish it up at night, if, it, if he can't finish it while he's still sitting in there, sitting in a, uh, an exam room or a, 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 a consult room, um, if that patient leaves, most of the time they never come back. So the, the process has to be fast. It has to be easy. And here's the bottom line for a doc. We want to get them all. You know, we want to be able to treat 100 out of 100 people. We want to get them all, Right. And so early this year, this company by the name of Benefits reached out to Brett and I, and they said, will you guys represent it? They knew of us. They knew we were in the finance industry. They knew we had connections in, in, because of our background. We had connections in orthopedics and spine and regenerative medicine and cosmetics. We had connections in all kinds of uh, specialties all around the country. So they called us and said, will you represent us? Will you look at our solution? And, and our response was, yeah, we'll look at anything because we're still trying to find something that works. It, it wasn't, it, you know, our problem wasn't that there wasn't a market. Our problem was finding a solution that met the need. And so we sat down with them, and what they do is totally different than anything out there. What, they don't offer a doc a lump sum up front. What they offer a doc or a provider in a surgery center or a hospital, it's a guaranteed payment stream. Absolutely every patient is approved. There are no exceptions, everybody. The application process, it, it takes three minutes, literally three minutes. And I'm going to show it to you so you can see how simple and fast it is. Payments to the provider are guaranteed after one of two things happens. Either patient puts down 10% or more or after we capture the first monthly payment. Either of these two events triggers the guarantee. The cost to the provider is 10%. So, you know, if, if let's say I'm going to use 4000 as an example. If it's a $4,000 procedure, or maybe it's a $4,000 deductible that, or co-pay the patient has to pay, if it's $4,000 to the patient, benefits is going to take 10%, 400 bucks. Provider gets 90%. So I'm going to walk you through, uh, I'm going to walk you through a, uh, an example so you can see what I'm talking about. So hang on here a second. Okay. So let's say the procedure is a $4,000 procedure, uh, and we're going to ask the patient to put down 10%. And let's say we're going to give, uh, give him or her 18 months. Let's call it Joe. So I'm going to give – this is Joe. So Joe's going to get a – let's say a stem cell injection, or he's going to get a, um, a, a hip replacement, and his cost is four grand. Here's the cash flow from Joe's perspective. 
at, at the point of service or month zero, Joe, Joe makes a $400 down payment. He's going to pay down 10%. He, a one-time setup fee of 30 bucks. This is fixed. So for a total of 430. Then he's going to pay his balance off, in my example, over 18 months. Here's the, here's the deal. The, um, the, the, the minimum is three months. The maximum, there is no maximum. It could literally be 103 months. Uh, I'm going to use 18 as an example. That works out to be 200 bucks a month. Each month, when we're going to run Joe's credit card, his debit card, health savings account, or flexible spending account, four options, four choices. And when we run his card, he, Joe pays a $3 fee to, to each month that we run a card. So that's 203 a month for 18 months. Add that all up. Add in the down payment and the fee. Adds up to be, in this example, 4084 bucks. Okay? I, I'm assuming you guys can all see that. So... Here's the cash flow from the provider's perspective. Again, month zero, when Joe makes a down payment, whatever that number is, uh, remember what I said back here a second ago. Provider takes 90%, benefits takes 10%. So when the provider puts down that down payment, the pro or, I'm sorry, the patient makes the down payment, the provider gets 90% of those dollars two days later, just like he was running a credit card. Two days later, uh, this money is automatically deposited in Doc's bank account or the, the surgery center's bank account or whichever account's set up. Then when we start running the monthly payments, on that first monthly payment, the, do, the provider doesn't see any of that. Benefits holds that in reserve. And the reason they hold it in reserve is for fraud prevention. It's to make sure there's no providers trying to game the system and take advantage of the guarantees. Starting in month two, when this payment runs, the provider gets 90% of whatever that payment amount is two days after it runs. And you see that 180, that's 90% every month until the back end. And on the very last payment, provider gets a double. Remember, we talked about that first one being held back. It's actually paid out on the back end. You take all these payments, include the down payment, add it all up. Adds up, in this example, adds up to be 3600 bucks or 90% of the original amount. So... So now, this is what makes benefits unique. They are planning on this patient paying all 18 months of what he owes, paying every dollar he owes. In fact, most of the time, Joe will pay every dollar he owes. Most people do the right thing if you help them. But there's going to be a, there's going to be a there, you know, we're going to meet a Joe somewhere where, where he pays seven months. Maybe he gives us a credit card that expires in seven months. And, and when benefits reaches out to him via phone call, email, text messages, Joe doesn't respond. Joe just disappears. Even if Joe disappears and he pays seven months, you know, his seven months worth of his uh, obligation and he stops paying, the entire payment stream to the doc, to the provider, is still guaranteed. Guaranteed because patient put down 10, at least 10% or more up front. That's what makes benefits unique. Regardless of what happens to Joe after that down payment goes comes in, the, the doc the provider, the surgery center, the hospital, they're going to collect 90% of what that number is. That's the unique value prop for benefits. But one more thing. Oops. Let me share one more thing that they do. The provider can offset that 10% cost by including interest. Doesn't have to, but he, but he has the option to include interest. So there's too many people on the phone. I'm not going to ask you what a fair interest rate is. I, I can tell you that some of Brett and I, some of our clients, um, they charge no interest, and they're doing it for marketing reasons. Uh, but most of them charge interest, and the average that we've seen so far is 8%. So when I hit enter, of, when I add 8% to this loan, this, the, the monthly is going to go up, right? This, this number is going to change. It's going to go from 200 up to whatever it's going to go. What I want you to watch when I hit enter, watch what happens to the provider side. Watch what happens right over here when I hit enter. See, the number went from 90% to 100.3% uh, from 3,600. Now the provider takes 4,011 and 64 cents. Here's the deal. Not only does the provider get 90% of the principal, the provider also takes 90% of the interest. And that in, those interest dollars, those are also guaranteed. So if this is the plan and went in place today, today's October 1st, and say, Dr. Smith, put this plan in place for Joe. Dr. Smith is guaranteed he's going to collect 4000 
uh, in eleven dollars or a hundred, you know, one hundred point three percent of his of his treatment plan over the next eighteen months. That's how benefits work. Nobody else does this. Here, you know, Doctor Smith. Every once in a while, he's going to get he's going to get a person, a guy, or you know, a guy, some man, some lady who has the the financial capability of paying this off faster. Maybe they can, you know, they can pay a bigger number every month and get it done quick. See, look what happens on the provider side. There's less time for interest, so the doc makes less money, but he gets it faster. But for every one of the people, every person who can knock it off in six months, he'll probably find he'll probably find uh, ten people who need thirty months because they need to get their payment down where they can manage in their budget. It takes them longer to get the dollars. But look what happens to those dollars. His, his guarantee now is up to 43.14 or 107%, actually 108%. You guys see that? So whether it's a short plan or a long plan, the provider wins. Either way, it's okay for the provider. And, and it's good for the patient because the patient gets a plan, gets a monthly number that he or she can handle. Nobody else in the market sets up a, a situation where it's good for both parties, for both the provider and the patient. And that's why benefits is the it's the it's it's the win-win that Brett and I have been looking for for three years. That's how it works. I mean, I'm gonna actually show it to you. I'm gonna go to um, I have a test site. Here's my test site. This is my hey, test Dave. dashboard. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, I just wanted to see really really quickly on back on that spreadsheet um, because the two the two triggers for guarantee is a 10% down payment from the patient and or that they make that first payment. So would you mind just really quickly doing an example of, of a patient who maybe couldn't oh, afford to put oh, yeah, yeah. 100 down today? Yeah, yeah, totally. Watch this. So, so if the pay, let's say if the patient puts down 9.9%. See, basically the benefit says if it's less than 10%, then the guarantee doesn't kick in until after we capture that first monthly payment. From that point forward, the guarantee kicks in. And, 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 and you know, so there may be a patient who could only put down 5%. Or maybe you have a patient who, who just doesn't have any down payment. And, and so there, and so the doc doesn't get the guarantee until this first payment is captured. Okay? Uh, and I, I tell my docs, hey doc, it's your business. You can run any way you want. If I were you, I would always require at least 10% because I, I would want that guarantee from day one. I wouldn't want any risk. But, but you can always make exceptions. You know, every doc out there has got an Aunt Sally. And, and and if Ann Sally walks into you know his you know uh, you know his her uh, nephew's office you know the doc, or niece's office the doc is going to give Ann Sally a break. Okay, benefits allows the doc to determine w what his down payment requirements are going to be, what his boundaries for the term are going to be, what his interest rate levels are going to be. Benefits gives the doc the ability to to create a a solution mix that works for his business. He can run his business the way he wants, and 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 it's it's unbelievable. But I can tell you that some of those other guys we looked at and worked with, they don't give the doc any flexibility. Um, benefits does. Here's the here's the uh, the the dashboard. This is my test site, uh, but this is exactly what it looks like. It's a browser-based application. Um, they've got an iPad app and an iPhone app. Um, any browser connection, you can make it work. Let's say let's say Joe needs a four thousand dollar procedure. So, you know, uh, we're going to go in and, and try to get Joe approved. What's the treatment cost? Four grand. Um, down payment, Joe's going to put down 410%, and we're going to charge him 7.99% interest for, and we'll give him, we'll look at 12 and 18 months. Uh, hey, Joe, well, what can you do a month? And, and maybe Joe says, I, I can do a, just a, a, about 200. 200 is my max. That's just, I can't afford more than that a month. You say, okay, no problem. I'm going to go backwards. I need to get this number down to 200 per month. So I'm going to look at 24 months. Now I'm going to look at 21 months. I'm going to try to thread the needle. It's to the doc's advantage to get this term as short as possible so he gets paid as quickly as possible. And it's to Joe's, Joe, the patient's advantage, to get a payment he or she can manage. Let's say, hey, Joe, can you do 197 a month for 21 months? Perfect. Let's do that one. So we said, okay. Let's select that one. We'll select it. We'll ask Joe for his email address. We put that in. We get Joe's date of birth, his social, first and last name, his phone, his, his, his physical address. Here's the only thing benefits requires of the provider. 
they, they require a driver's license ID, a passport ID, or some form of government ID, and they require the doc to take a color copy, take a color picture of that ID, and put it in their records and save it. All they want, all they want the doc to do is guarantee the identity of the patient. That's all. We're not checking credit. We don't care. We just want to guarantee the person's identity. And, and the reality is most providers, they do that already anyway. So that's nothing new. They already do it for their records. This stuff is required. Employer information, optional. Income, optional. We don't care. We're just going to continue. Hey, Joe, congratulations. You've been approved. You know, by the way, everybody gets approved. Everybody. Everything on here look right so far? Yep. I'll continue. So we're going we're gonna to show Joe the terms and conditions and allow him to read this, or maybe we have a hard copy or we just click the link. Either way, we give Joe a minute or two to read the agreement. Uh, um, this is the fine print, and there's not much there. It's, it's fairly straightforward and simple, but we want to give him term, time to, to uh, take a look at that. Uh, and we say, okay. And we're going to ask Joe to sign off on a consent for treatment and, a, and his acknowledgement that he's responsible. So it's a very, you know, very simple thing. It'll take him 30 seconds to read that. And he'll say, okay, I'm good with that. So we'll click that box and continue. We're going to, we're going to hand Joe our mouse or our iPad and say, hey, Joe, I need electronic signature. Don't worry if it's ugly, but this is your agreement. So Joe, he does his best imitation of his signature. We ask him, what day of the month are we going to start your monthlies? Because today we're going to take the down payment plus a setup fee today. And let's say Joe says, oh, I get paid on the 15th. Let's set him up on the 15th. So we'll do the first monthly on October 15th. We'll ask him for a debit card, a credit card, health savings account, or a flexible spending account. Put that in and hit go. We'll hit pay. And what's going to happen is we're going to take Joe's down payment right then and there. That payment was successful. Here's his reoccurring each month. Here's his balance. He's got his, pay, his interest rate is 799. The monthlies are going to start on October uh, 15th. Uh, his down payment is 400. His number of payments is 21. Here's his electronic signature, his scribble. We can download that and print a copy, email a copy to Joe. We're totally done. It took three minutes, and absolutely everybody gets approved. That's benefits. I'll stop um, for questions. I know I have a question. Fire away. Go ahead. I'm in, sure. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind, identify yourself just so I can put a name to a, uh, to a, to a voice. Sure. Um, can you hear me? Yes. This is uh, Troy. Hey, Troy. And, and uh, so, so I have a, actually a few questions. But um, I, so my first question is um, I'm not seeing a lot of, of – profit for benefits, uh, how are they making their profit and how are they mitigating risk? <laughs> um, you kind of asked the same question that Brett and I asked when we first saw this, but, but, but I was, you know, I asked it in a little bit of, uh, pardon my language, I asked it in a little bit different way. I said, I, uh, when they first said this to me, I said, how in the hell does this work? I mean, really, how does this yeah. work? Because we knew Brett and I knew because we spent, we, you know, almost three years we've been in the market. We knew that the average default rate for medical, medical lenders was 15%. We said, so we said, yeah. how in the hell does this work? What are, you, what are you guys smoking? Well, I'll show you the answer. Um, we knew the average interest rate, the average default rate in the industry was 15%. The benefits default rate, it's, it's, a, it's a tick under 4%. Their default rate is only 4%. Okay, so then the next question is, well, why is your default rate so, why is it so low? Why, why is it so different? Uh, and you guys are, you guys are, are approving everybody, not just the, uh, the cream of the crop and with, with credit scores, right? Most people don't even touch the, the lousy credit scores. You guys approve them all and your default rate's four. Well, here's the answer. There's no other solution on the market. Nobody. And we've looked at so many of them that, that gives both the patient and the provider all the flexibility to create, to create a, a, an agreement where the provider gets paid fairly and, and the patient gets a plan they can handle. You know, the, the reality is 
Um, even Joe with that, with, Joe's got a 500 credit score. His credit's terrible. You help Joe get a, if you help him get the care he needs at a monthly number he can manage, he does the right thing and pays his debt. People actually do, if you actually treat people well, they do what, they do the right thing. Now there's, they still have, they have a little bit of default, but most people actually just treat them right and, and they, they behave, they do what you want. That's why this works. And we thought, Really? How long have you guys been doing this? He said, well, about seven years. It took about seven years to prove their solution, prove that model. And, and then early this year, they uh, decided to go into all of healthcare, and that's when they called us. They decided to push it out into everything. You know, they, they were just focused on the dental industry. You can tell by their, their, that name. But, but they, had enough, they had enough experience to recognize, dang, this thing works better than we thought. We want to get it out there to everything. And, and they called Brett and I. And since we saw it, uh, we've had we've had a solution now for about seven months. You know, we we've done more volume in seven months. Actually, we've done about twenty times the volume in seven months than we did in the prior two and a half years with all those other solutions. So, what what ways? Um, so, I, I mean, there's got to be some interest being paid. There's um, some sort of a late payment. Um, in what what different ways are they making a, a, an income? I guess. So so. Or, or what well, charges I guess are involved. So watch in. this. Yeah, maybe this will help. So you know, okay. benefits versus the other guys, their operating costs are similar, right? Every lender out there is highly automated. They use they all use online application technology. They they're they're highly automated. Their operating costs are all kind of similar. They're kind of about in the 4% range. Um, Deficits is default rate is 4% versus the industry average of 15. But here's the big deal. Everybody else, all the other, all the other solutions, they pre-fund a lump sum to the provider up front, and then they get it back through monthly payments, right? So, they, so the uh, I gotcha. all the other guys have a cost of money. They're so the cost, cost for money. capital. That's right. Yeah. And the cost of capital is about 10%. Benefits cost of capital is zero because they don't use it. They don't do it that way, right? So, so, so this, this is this is why it works. Just that just, that makes sense. And, and, and that's and the trade-off. That's right. And here's the delta. This delta of about twenty points, somebody pays for it, either the provider or the patient or a combination. And, and this is you know, yeah. and so these guys, all these guys, they don't they don't um, approve the lousy credit scores because they don't want their default rate to go up. So instead, right. instead of actually instead of actually getting a really fair deal, these guys they just they just limit the risk by by never approving anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's that really does make a lot of sense because really what what in this in this scenario is what is happening is the doctor is deferring some of the payment but under a guarantee, which you know I mean if he's adding. Um, if he's able to add twenty, thirty percent to his appointments, um, you know, deferring is probably not a big issue because well, it still you, adds to his ultimate income. Troy, Troy, you get it. I, I mean, I talk to Doc every day, and, and and probably one out of ten, two out of ten, three out of ten, they get it immediately. Sometimes I have to walk them through something, so I'll walk them through. Here's, I have a second tab on this on this spreadsheet. In fact, in, when I do that, I tell you, I actually send this to docs. It's password protected. They can't break it. It's got all the formulas. So it, I send this to docs after I, after I have a call with them so they can go through and play around with their own numbers and, and, and work out, you know, the, the real dollars. But watch this. Let's go. I'm going to go to the second tab. Let's say that same $4,000 plan, patients are putting down 10% and the average, you know, for that, for that kind of a duration, the average term is a probably about about 24 months is what we've seen so far um, at 8%. If, if, if this guy, let's say he's doing, um, he's doing 10 of these kinds of things a month already. He's doing 10 a month and, and, you know, with his cash pay, patients. I actually had this conversation with a doc last Thursday. He was doing about 10 of these procedures a month, and he was offering 50% ca um, uh, cash discount. His cash price, his price was 4200 so when they when they gave him cash, you know, forty two hundred minus fifteen was his number, um, thirty seven eighty. So I asked him, how many more of these a month now can would you do you think you can do because you can approve every patient? 
because all he was getting was the people who could afford to write a check. He said, hell, easily I could get another 10. Okay? If you have another 10, you know, here, here's your cash flow, accumulated cash flow without benefits. Here's his accumulated cash flow. And I don't have any, any I don't have his hard cost in there. Okay? But, but his ca accumulated cash flow with benefits is this column over here. It's the difference between the blue area and the green area. So, so the point you just made, Troy, is exactly this. You know, what's the impact on his bottom line if he could approve it? Even if the, even if his revenue streams deferred, his his revenue goes through the roof because he can help. He's helping more people. That yeah, that totally makes sense. I just out of curiosity, is the uh, can the down payment be cash? Um, you would you just showed a screen which just gave the options of credit card, debit card. Credit card, um, debit card, health savings account, flexible spending account. So it's got to run through the system. You know, they're not able to. Uh, it's got to run through the okay. benefits process for the benefits to know that it really, you know, to for for them to get their ten percent and for them to, you know, make their whole application process work. Highly automated. So so the whole right. process is automated. And so what happens is when if this is the plan is in place, these these payments automatically drop into the the, the, the Docs bank account. Uh, I'll show you. I actually show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna, you know, this is all. All these, all these numbers are for me just doing demos. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just me doing demos. But so, so I'll run a report just so you see what it would look like from the docs perspective. So, again, simulation. But you know, in my my docs bank account um, on today, there's a simulation. 894 was was deposited. And that came from one, two, three, four patients. And this patient here, uh, guys, just remember, this is just dummy data. Um, so we tend to use the same names all the time. Um, this patient here was responsible for 360 of that total, 180, 183, 171. The day before, on Friday, we had 2408 dump into the bank account automatically. And that came from one, two, three, four, uh, looks like nine patients. Every day... Um, the doc has deposits automatically falling into his bank account, and he can go in and see, and he can his, his accountant can go reconcile which patient, you know, what dollars are coming in for which patients. It's all, it's all it's all out there. It's all interactive. It's all real time. So the doc gets paid, you know, which is you know gets paid on a daily basis, uh, and it's just it's just it's like completely automated. Docs love that. The, the minimum amount we there is no minimum amount that that we'll lend that we can set up. Um, there's no max. You know, Brett and I. You know, one of our biggest clients is an oral maxillofacial um, surgeon in Texas, uh, West Texas. You know, Hillbillyville, Texas. Hope, you know, I hope I didn't offend anybody. You know, out there in the middle of nowhere, um, they do they do dental implants. You know, sometimes it's like the you know you ever seen these teeth in a day commercials where you know a guy rebuilds his whole mouth. Uh, we actually have a couple of plans that look like this. Now, these are exceptions, but we have them. There is no max. There is no minimum. There is no max. Uh, minimum term is three months. There is no max in the interest rate, whatever the doc and the patient agree to. Most of them, most of them it's right around 8%. Um, that's how benefits work. Here's, here, here's, here's, here's why it, this is why it's, it's amazing. With every marketplace, you know, with any, with any provider, hospitals, uh, surgery center, you know, 20 out of 100 are going to write the check because they can. Um, the marketplace lenders, if they have care credit or any of those other lenders, they may be able to get another 20, but they'll lose these 60. They'll lose that opportunity. With benefits, you you get the doc can win them all. He he can win he can win every person who walks in his office. And 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 and, and so this is what we do. And and, and Vincent's or Keith started with this. What what we do is we make it possible um, for you know we we make great healthcare accessible to every patient. Doc, you're responsible for delivering great healthcare. We'll make it accessible for every patient. Make it possible for any patient to get what you do. That's our story. Any other questions on that? 
Hey, Dave. So, I have a question. Fire away. So who was that? Was that? Yeah, go ahead. Can yeah, you guys hear me? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. go ahead. So, so, so quick, quick question. Can you describe what happens in a scenario where you had mentioned that two days after the, the patient uh, payment comes in to benefits, it hits the, you know, the, the provider's bank account, right? Yeah. So what happens in a scenario where a patient uh, you know, runs into a bad month and they don't make their payment? So can you just describe real quickly what that what process happens behind the scenes so everyone gets an understanding of how yeah. benefits it kind of manages that on behalf of the doctor. So, so, you know, so who reaches say, out, who manages, et cetera. Yeah. Let's, say, let's say we get a we get a credit card that expires six months after, you know, it started. So when we, benefits, you know, instead of the doc's office staff reaching out to the patient, benefits does. They'll make the phone call. They'll just send the emails. They'll do text messages. They'll reach out to the patient and get an updated card. Um, and, and maybe the patient had a, you know, maybe they lost their job. Maybe they had another emergency, whatever. What they what benefits does with the patient is work with them to get them back on plan, uh, and and this is this goes to uh, again the same issue of the defaults. They you know with when Care Credit for example when somebody's late, Care Credit drills them with these obscene penalties, these these punitive late fees. We don't do that. Um, we don't do that. What they actually do is they reach out and try to get the patient back on plan. Maybe they need to stretch. Maybe their plan was 18 months and they need to stretch it out to 30 months to make it work. They'll work with the patient to get them back on plan because they actually want the patient to pay what they owe they, because we want that patient to come back to benefits and use it over and over again. And the doc wants that patient to come back to him to get treated over and over again. And so we don't, when we have those customer service calls, we don't treat people as adversaries. Hey, you screwed up. You were late. No, that, that doesn't help anybody. What they're treated well, they're treated like a customer that we want back. And, and that's the other reason why our default rate is so low. Now, is there going to be a Joe who flakes out? Yep, there will be a Joe who flakes out. And, and maybe it's this guy. They'll make benefits after they try for 60 days and try to get Joe to respond. If Joe still doesn't respond, they'll make a decision on whether they want to send us with the collections or not. You know, and they'll look at that on a case by case basis. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to send this guy? Maybe, maybe not. But benefits will make that determination. What we want awesome. is we just want to get them back, right? Because they're a good customer. They just have a financial problem. So two things on that. First of all, that's a huge, I found already that's a huge thing for, for uh, providers. They love the idea that they don't have to be in the collections business, that it's all taken care of for them. Um, the other part, though, question for you then is what happens with the doctor and their particular payments then? So if you renegotiate the plan, the way I understand it is the doctor still gets the original plan. Is that right, or do they get adjusted? Yeah, or how does that work, and when do yeah. they get their payments? Yeah, if it's adjusted... Uh, basically, here's, here's the rule of thumb. If uh, the, the doc, the velocity of the doc's payments match the velocity of the plan. So if the plan's extended, then the doc is going to get extended. It, it, they're all, because they, it all, every, all, every bit of this is kind of, um, it's automated. So if the plan gets, a, the terms get stretched, then the doc's, doc's payments are going to match that plan. Got it, got it. So if they don't come to agreement, then how does at what point do do does the benefits say okay? Well, we were clearly this this one needs to go to collection. So what happens with the doctor? Like, what is that process for the doctor to know that they're eventually? Like, how long does it take them to get the rest of their payments? Does it just continue on plan then, or what does that oh, look yeah. like? It absolutely continues on plan. They're still going to get. Let's say this guy flaked out at six months. This guy this guy just went and fell off the face of the earth. Their their revenue the doc's revenue stream is going to match the schedule. So he's still going to get it over. In this case, what I have here, uh, a 60-month plan. He's going to get. Out, he's going to get. Um, that's, that went beyond my numbers. Let's say it's. Let's say it's a 24-month plan. He's going to get. He's going to get the numbers. You know, all, over those 24 months. Yeah. That. Right. Those numbers, as long as you didn't adjust the plan, is what you're saying. Exactly. Then, then he'll get the Precisely. new numbers. Correct. Exactly. Got it. Yep. Uh, So I got kind of a piggyback question um, from what Keith was just talking about. And Keith, thank you very much for your question. Um, that was really good. How how does that work, Dave, as far as like a plan adjustment? So let's take Joe here. We'll still pretend this is Joe. 
four thousand, he put the ten percent down, yada yada yada, one hundred and sixty five dollars a month, or I'm sorry, one hundred and sixty eight after the three dollar fee. Then at some point, Joe has a change in his financial situation. He goes, man, this one sixty five is really stretching it for me. If it was like one hundred and twenty five, it would be a whole lot easier for me. That forty bucks, you know, a month makes a big difference for Joe right now. What does the doctor need to do other than just adjusting the term? I'm, I'm, that's obvious. Yeah, they wouldn't, so, you know, so it's, the term yeah, that's six a, months. But what do they have to do in the benefits dashboard? So, so, den- you know, so benefits will do the updates. Um, they'll, benefits will will facilitate that that agreement. Um, nothing happens without the de- the doc's approval. Nothing will change without the doc's approval. So, and benefits will facilitate the change in the system. Okay. So, so their you know benefits will they manage the customer service portion of it, uh, and, and again they they want to keep the client because we want them to come back to benefits again and again. And the doc the doc is going to say you know, the it, it, the doc is hi, it's highly unlikely the doc will say no I can't do that because the doc wants to keep a patient. He, he wants to keep the pay, his reputation, and in fact, his you know it's his reputation will be enhanced in the in the community because he took care of not only his healthcare issue, he took care of his financial problem. He helped the patient. Okay, so is there like a so I, does the doctor have to submit it something electronically, or no, does the doctor say to Joe, "Hey Joe, we can absolutely do that for you. I have no problem. Call benefits." Well, yeah, how does that kind well, of take yeah, the, 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 pa- the patient the patient engagement will be between the patient and benefits. Um, benefits will, will con- you know they'll contact the doc and and make sure everybody's happy and they will affect the change. Okay, so those that's basically benefits to reach out to Doctor Smith and say, hey, uh, Doctor Smith, uh, you know. Uh, Joe Bean, you know, is requesting a reduction in payment at 165 stretching it for him. He feels com- more comfortable at 125. Are you okay with that? And the doctor will say yes or no. Yes, correct. That's uh, pretty simple. Can I'll, I add a little term to that? You made, you yeah, made a big... Uh, yeah, those changes are pretty rare. What happens more than anything is uh, you may have a... Um, you may have a a situation where the patient wants additional care and so they'll say can we can we increase the number because I want to add some services I want to do something else so so there are some boundaries around where they'll they'll add to a plan um, if they if it's done within um, I think the first 30 days or, or before the first monthly payment they can add to it um, without the patient you know paying another Thirty dollars setup fee, but 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 at some point the patient will have to pay. You know, just create another plan. They can have two plans running at the same time. Um, they can have three plans running at the same time. Um, but but recognize it's you know it's a thirty dollars setup fee for each new plan. To reduce, they can reduce the number. Easy. That's easy. They can do it any time. There's no fee, no cost. I got one can they, other question. I'll go ahead. Keep go ahead. Or, Troy, it's up. Well, I was just going to ask, could the doctor ask for a um, higher interest rate? Can he renegotiate the deal if, you know, let's say we went from a, you know, a 12-month to a 24-month um, plan, can he request the patient um, pay a, a, an additional interest rate? Totally. Completely. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it's just... Go ahead, Jeremy. I, I, you guys, you guys. I mean, it doesn't mean it. It really doesn't mean it to you guys because you're seeing all this for the first time. It means a lot to Brett and I because we saw so many. You know, if I go back to the and show you, you know, show you the uh, the smorgasbord. We 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 dealt with so many guys who who were intractable, they inflexible, and 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 some of these companies wanted to dictate to the doc how the doc was going to run his business. It was nuts, and that's why they don't work. It's one of the reasons why they don't work. Benefits allows the doc all the flexibility he needs to make his own business decisions. For example, um, a lot of guys I work with do regenerative medicine, stem cell injections, and, and so those are four, you know, typically about four thousand dollar deals, right? Um, but but the product that the doc is injecting, it, 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 that the hard costs are a whole lot more than three sixty, right? So if he does ten percent down, 
This doesn't even come close to covering the doc's upfront cost. I say, doc, you know, you can do anything you want. If I were you, um, 10% may be a good standard for certain kinds of things you do in your practice. But when you're doing regenerative, you may want to have a standard of requiring 25% down so that you get the numbers you need to make your, you know, make your, uh, uh, to buy that, buy whatever product you're actually using to inject. Benefits gives you the flexibility to make those decisions. Providers can run their, you know, their practice or surgery center, the hospital, they can run it any way they want. It's incredible. That's what we said. So this is, <laughs> uh, I mean, after we, after we got over, after we got past, after we got past the how the hell does this work question, we said, wow, there ain't nothing else. Uh, this is amazing. And, and that's what our clients have found. Um, they're, what we see, we see the clients, um, we've seen it have a, a, a fairly significant impact on the numbers of cases they're doing. Because they're, they're, now they're treating everybody that, that walks in the door. I have a quick question. This is Mike Driggers. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey there. Um, <clears throat> so if, if, first off, who, who gets the 10% down? Does the doctor take that right away? Um, the, the, yes. We, well, whatever the, if, the, if there's a down payment, it's going to run through the benefit system. Remember what I did this before? Let's go back. I'll show it to you. Well, I, I got kind of confused because I wasn't on the screen, so I logged into the screen. Okay. So. so, so if the treatment cost is let's say it's let's say it's twenty five hundred bucks, and, and we're going to do a ten percent down, so that's two fifty, and we're going to do eight um, percent for for twelve okay. months. So, so you know, basically, the, it's we're going to process it through the system, and it, and the doc and the patient determine you know what that number is going to be. Right. So then you guys take, you charge their credit card or whatever, debit card or whatever. So they take, benefits takes the money. Yep. And then the doctor d doesn't see any money until the, the first benefit or first payment or second. No. So he gets, he gets 90% of that down payment two days later. Just like if I ran a Okay. So two days later, he gets 90%. That's where I got confused. Okay. Yeah, two days okay. Later, so then, and then, yeah. And then the next payment skip. And then after that, it goes to, to the rest that, goes to the doctor. So 90% of whatever the number is, um, let's say, let's yeah. say we set the monthlies up on the 15th. So basically on the 17th right. of each month, um, the 17th or the next business day, whichever, if it's not, if it's a weekend, um, he's going to see this is, is this going to fall right into his bank account every month? Right. Every, so the, t they get 10% less on the down and then the, they pick up f from the second payment on every payment. That's right. So, 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 okay. Less. Benefits keeps all of these fee, these fees, the setup fee and the three bucks a month. Um, benefits gets every bit right. of that. Now, and then benefits okay. takes ten percent of the other cash flow, and then it right. takes ninety percent or whatever these whatever's in these columns. The doc, you know, benefits will take ten percent. Doc gets the rest. Gotcha. Okay, and then what about if somebody's charging this on credit card? and they're dissatisfied with the doctor or whatever services were rendered, and they do a chargeback on the credit card, what happens? So, so then benefits will reach out, and, they'll, and they'll, they'll facilitate a conversation to try to bring some satisfaction to the patient and to the doc. But if there's at least 10% and if, that, down, if there's more than 10% 10 10 or more down, the doc's payment stream is guaranteed. Right, so the doc still gets guaranteed, but you know some people, and people, you know, thieves a thief. They want free service, and then they'll complain and say, "Oh, it was terrible," and I'm gonna want my money back, and so they'll ask for their money back through the credit card company, right? right. That they've right. been paying on these payments. Yeah, it, it, it it's rare. Uh, it happens, but it's rare, and that falls into benefits' default rate. You know, so so okay. if, if they can't if they can't resolve it, the doc's gonna get paid because the doc got the guarantee. Now, if that keeps right, happening, regardless. if that happens in a doc's office more than once or twice, um, benefits will red flag that doc. You know, I mean, they pay attention to the performance of every office. So if there's, right. an, office, if there's an office that's that's uh, a bad actor, they will get thrown out. They'll get shut down. Period. Right. Um, but but if everybody uses this and is an honest an honest broker, this solution sure. is really good. 
So what about um, different industries? Are you just focused on the doctors or can you go into lawyer? Like I have an HVAC I can walk this into right now. Um, and like the coaching industry, I'm, Keith, I'm sure, are you using this for your program? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we lost Keith. So the so the answer the yep. answer is all healthcare, and and outside of healthcare, we'll do one. We'll we'll, we'll talk about them one at a time. Okay. Because I like I said, I do have a, a heating and air commission company that does financing, and they're not accepting everybody because of what you said, like the twenty five percent. So I know I could probably walk this into them, and then I know a couple lawyers that have payment programs, but, and, you know, nothing that like this, which would help them. So for, you know, they're dealing with a low, lower income, like bankruptcy people or situations like that. Right. right. So, so um, yeah. and then coaching, Co like I offer coaching packages right. and mine are 10 to $20,000 coaching packages, you know, having a payment program for some people would, I'd probably pick up more people on my coaching programs. Yeah, so let, let's have offline conversations one at a time on some of those things, and, and we'll explore it. They, okay. They, um, yeah, we'll explore we'll explore anything, and and if and if and if benefits is not the right program, Brett and I have other connections that might fill you know might be able to fit the need. So. Okay. And then as far as marketing support for all the Agora reps and us, do we get at, can we get a video that explains all this that we can send people to, or can we get these presentations and files and all that, or how's that going to work? Yes and yes. So, so here's typically, um, and is this Mike? This is typically how, yes. how the reps that we've engaged, here's how the, it's worked mostly. Um, let's say you have a doc, a provider, a surgery center, a contact. So you, you know, where in the country are you, Mike? I'm in San Francisco Bay Area. So you're in the Bay. So you, you got, you got docs up there. Um, you have relations with. Um, here's the conversation. You got a doc. Say, hey, doc, um, are, are you using? Do you have any patient financing solutions in place? And, and it, with regards to what he says, it doesn't matter. He says, how do you, you know, how would you like to look at a solution that will that approves every patient? That's a fair, fair. That's a win-win. You, you can treat more people. They'll say, yeah, okay. So, so then you get that doc, or, or more, most of the time it's, a, it's an office manager, but sometimes the doc wants to get on right away. But we get an office manager or the doc on the phone with me um, on a go-to-meeting. Um, and and I'll, do, I'll walk them through exactly what I just walked you guys through. And, and so we're more of an appointment setter. We don't have to do this presentation. Then. You don't have to. If you, you may decide to. Um, I, I know Matt, Matt does his own. There's other guys that I work with who do their own now because they've seen me and heard me do it three or four times, and and they they think they can do it better and they probably do, um, but if but if you just want to connect them with me, um, I will close them for you. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about you know all the different reps that come in. You know, over time, somebody will learn and be able to say you know what you're able to say, but in the beginning. Um, it makes sense to me to to that you would have the reps book an appointment for a presentation. The only problem is is if you got three hundred reps and there's one of you and they're all out there, um, hope you have backup because that'll have, become a yeah. real quick issue. <laughs> we we got yeah we got backup and and, and you okay. got after you hear it two or three times, you'll start doing your you'll you know mo most yeah. most really good professional reps. We'll do it themselves. Yeah, I wouldn't want a bunch of the reps though just running out trying to do this because it could, it could. They may say something they shouldn't, and or uh, make promises because they assume that's what's the case, and and sometimes that happens. So I think it's better. Like I think we need to have a presentation training on how to present this, um, just so it protects Agora and you guys, and. Uh, so on. So I think in the beginning, I think it's good that they do like maybe they have to do five training presentations where they, you know, they have to do f uh, book an appointment with you um, because, you know, you're messing with finances and they say something or do something. It can 
put the companies in jeopardy. Right. But I mean, it's, as you could, you guys saw, you saw, you saw it for the first time today. It, it's really, it's an easy conversation. Um, and we're going a little bit more into details than we typically would do. But, but whenever, I, when I have a conversation with a, with a provider, a surgery center, hospital, whoever, I, when I'm done, I'll, I will send them a copy of the slide deck. Um, I will send mm-hmm. them this modeling spreadsheet so they could do their own what if gaming. Um, and, and I'll and, and uh, so then they can they can call and they and look at the details. They can call. Uh, we'll send them a link to enroll. Um, as many times as not, guys will enroll right then and there. In fact, I've had a whole bunch of bunch of guys say, "So let's just do it right now," and 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 I'll pull up the enrollment site and and actually type it for them and walk them through and get them done. Um, and the, the enrollment oh. process for a doc. Let me go this way. Uh, there's no setup costs. There's no monthly fees. If I enrolled a doc or a, a provider today, and they never, they didn't use it until next June for whatever reason, uh, it wouldn't cost me a dime. <clears throat> so there's absolutely no risk to, for a provider. There's a zero risk. And and having I get it. Uh, I just I know I know this industry and in, as far as the direct sales industry and people, and sometimes they they get excited and they'll make promises and then it backlashes. So that's I just right. want to make sure that. Yeah, I think it's a great think idea. That's you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. You can totally get it, Matt. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Just um, we'll, we'll connect. We'll connect offline. But Vince, I just want to share. Like one of the things I mentioned, we're doing at the beginning. I mentioned is we're putting together an automated system to get people through the the funnels because I think the presentation is is very uh, very simple. I think you did an incredible job right. again today, David. It's phenomenal, right? So I, you know, the idea is to get the, a standard presentation. I agree with you, Mike. That simplifies, and I like the idea of yeah. providing automation so people can just generate leads. So that goes back into our bigger organization that Rachel and I are putting together. We we want to empower people, even if they're not good salespeople, to not have to be right. excellent. All they have to do is make connections. So I'm looking forward to those that want to learn more about that too, because I think the impact that as a group and a team and a network we can make is just going to be through the roof. So I, I want to thank again both Dave and and uh, Brett and Matt for uh, what they've put together, and, and and I'm excited to be you know. Uh, have brought it to Gore and as just one channel of the many I have going right now that are going to just accelerate this. Yeah, I'd love to have an ongoing conversation off because like, I, I want to know what you're doing and how you're using it for what you do. And then, uh, but, you know, and I love that idea because, again, the, the goal is to make it simple enough that, and I think, you know, like when I was doing the Done For You real estate program, right, um, Strombrook, we would book, we had everybody book an appointment to talk, to get a game plan. Right. And, and it made it so much easier to just have people booking the appointments. And that way, you know, that the right things were being said, because in, in this industry, people tend to get excited and say things that they, they shouldn't be saying. And um, <clears throat> and I just I think this is a great product and I think everybody's going to want to do it. And especially if we're training people how to do it right. And if you have automated tools that are doing it, that makes it even easier. Yeah, we'll provide all the tools, and, and also, Mike. After this, there's going to they're going to be available for training and getting people caught up to speed. And I would highly recommend just having them close the deals for you until you can learn. But it, it but it does yeah. it is a pretty straightforward program. I, um, I, is, I realize I, that, but yeah, and I think yeah, I realize this is Mike. This is this is Matt Lormer. I haven't had a chance to chime in today. I'm I'm actually the the uh, contact that uh, we'll be working directly with Agora. But we can easily, um, to, to, to train a, a sales team of any size, uh, Dave and I both have Calendly, and we can easily set up 10, 15, 20 different um, presentation times for all of your team to, to go and pick and choose. And we can, make, we can predetermine whether we want eight members of your team on a call at a time, or we could have 20 members of your call if you have three, four, 500 people we can make ourselves available to do that uh, small group set training or, um, or we can do it a larger. So we're definitely dedicated to this and we can work around to make sure everybody gets trained appropriately. Mike, cool. I think you could bring on some of your guys and they could, you know I mean, and bring them all into one training. Oh, I know I can. I difference. know I can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just worried about the un- Uncle Bob's and Aunt Betty's telling their blue haired bingo girls that works for a doctor or something that they shouldn't say, you know what I mean? That's, we just got to make sure that they're properly trained. 
And uh-huh. I think what handles that is the appointments or the funnels will handle most of that. Like you just send them to a website. You don't even need to say anything. Just send them yeah. to the website. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be developing those tools. Um, hey, guys, yeah. for the sake of time, why don't we have Jeremy um, go over to our Agora, which will also so show where the training stuff material will be, the commission. We want to go over some of the commission stuff on this call also. Yeah. So you can yep. kind of see yeah. uh, how the numbers work with commissions. And um, and the exciting thing about this is the doctor's guaranteed to get paid and you're guaranteed to get paid as a sales rep. That's what's exciting about this also. So, um, and it's a mm-hmm. volume yep. play. Now, we ran some numbers here. We'll run some smaller numbers. And you start signing up more and more doctor's offices or veterinarians or – and, Jeremy, you want to take over the screen? Yeah, actually, um, yeah, I will here in just a minute. And, and Vince, you made a really, really good, strong comment there. Um, I just want to piggyback on and make sure we heard that loud and clear. So Dave's been talking about the guarantee, you know, of the doctor getting paid and and, and all of that. But as a seller, because that guarantee is in place that the, that the doctor is getting that monthly payment, that cash flow, as a result, the reps, you know, us as sales reps, we're being guaranteed that regardless of the patient fails in the payments or not. And that's huge because that's not usually the way that it works in sales. If somebody stops paying their bill or stops or paying for their monthly service, well, there's no money coming in anymore. So as reps, we don't get paid anymore. And that's not the case with this product. So that's extremely, extremely exciting for us as well. Um, Dave, since you still have the screen up, I will take over and I'll walk through the marketplace. Um, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to flip over to that uh, co, uh, co-branded uh, Fiscus Agora little kind of commission uh, Excel, sp- uh, Excel spreadsheet we have put together and maybe just walk that up. Here we uh, go. Walk through. Yeah, While he's quick. pulling that up, I was going to mention also that um, I know I think I don't think I heard it on the call yet about also going into uh, hospitals or you know hospitals could be really big on this, but doctors' offices that have payable sitting out there. That have like I think someone mentioned there's they're dealing with someone that has over three hundred thousand in payables and taking that over for the uh, maybe mention that too so that's pretty exciting so you can go into a, someone that's having tough time in their collection and they can help out in that yeah and also do you have a list of targeted markets that seem to be converting faster than others um. Yeah, Mike, we have a list in the marketplace. When I take the screen over, we'll go over a few of those. Okay, cool. Yeah. So but he's so mentioning the, the one, like the, which ones are the best. One. We have the list, but like which ones are the best on that list, I think, is what Mike's asking. Yeah, yeah, to target, like the easiest to convert. Well, I don't know. It's, 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 I guess the answer, Mike, is, is, the, is where you have relationships. Because we've got, we've got guys in oral maxillofacial dental. We've got guys, um, clients in um, – uh, orthopedics. We've got clients. We have hospital clients. We've got um, surgery centers. We've got um, uh, pain management. Yeah, but you've got you've got numbers that I'm sure that says a hundred on each one came through, but your conversions were ten percent on on one and fifty percent on the other, right? I mean, I'm sure you've got that kind of data. Uh, the close the close rate we've experienced is we're we're about seventy five percent. Doesn't matter the industry on every industry. Yeah. Or every person within that get, if I, that niche. If we get them on the call and we get 25 minutes to walk through it, we'll close 20, we'll close 75 percent of them. Now here's so the struggle here's, is getting them on the call. Yeah, it's, it's, you it's know, Mike, about Mike, yeah, you got it. Relationships, and that's why they need us, right? If they didn't need guys yeah. who have relationships, yeah. we wouldn't be on this call today, right? Uh, it, that's why they need you because you have relationships that they'll never have. And, and in the medical industry, well, I don't have any relationships. I'm cold market, so I don't. I don't like doctors. I stay away from them. <laughs> oh man, they're great. Um, yeah, well, now I go after them. <laughs> but go ahead. I know that Vince needs to do what he's got to do. So go ahead, Vince. So no, that's good. Let's, show, let's go look at the numbers. So I, I, I'll get a spreadsheet that just gives you a a, a look at um, at the potential. So let's say your, your average plan amount three, three grand. That's a, that's a decent plan amount at 10% down over 18 months, 7% or 8% interest. And if you're a doc, let, let's say you're, you're a rep, you've got a one doc, one provider doing 10 plans. Um, and, and, and you're, oops, that ain't right. There. Uh, 
you, if this is if this is your scenario, you, you're doing you got a single provider doing ten ten of these a month. Well, the, you know your your commissions will um, will top out monthly commissions. Not a big number, right? It's, it's no big deal. But you know, if you've got if you've got ten docs doing this every month, uh, your commissions start to grow. Consist considerably, and, and if you're continuing to go out and add a doc a month, for example, you, your 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 net monthly residual income from a 30-minute conversation, a 45-minute conversation, it, that that will keep paying you year over year over year. That's pretty strong. If it's a surgery center, so so it's a, let's say it's a surgery center, and that surgery center it's not one provider, but that surgery center has 20 providers. And so instead of 100 plans a month, that surgery center is jamming 200 plans a month. One surgery center. You can see what the, the, resi the, the monthly residuals could look like. That's why this is worth looking at. And you guys said that some of these are getting up to 500,000 within five months, like a short amount of time. Like it's a volume play because you got to realize the longer that the doctor has it, they're just going to keep adding more and more patients on there. You keep adding more doctors and uh, veterinarians and all that. This number goes up and up, and they'll just keep. And so as time progresses, they'll get more and more people on these plans. And you know, and and this is a no maintenance thing for you. It'll just keep growing and growing. And then there's our CV value, right? So then if you have a team of people, then you're going to be making money in them also, plus your own money. So this uh, this can really grow. I mean. This is a trillion dollar industry. I mean, some people out here are going to hit some hospitals or some really big clients and, um, and they have whole industries that are converting everything over to this because it's a guarantee that they're going to get the money. So they're seeing some higher conversions. So these are actually some low numbers, but this can turn in, you know, you, if you play with this, uh, we have this in the back office, but if you play with this, this thing can really add up, you know, and this is what you go in once you close the deal, you'll never talk to that doctor again. You don't have to. And this will just keep going on and on. You see how easy the process is. You just keep signing doctors up, and uh, and your income will, as they start bringing on more and more patients into this plan, your income will just keep growing and growing and growing. It it is a true residual plan. It's a residual, and, and you heard Brett when Brett was on earlier this uh, earlier on the call. He you heard him say that uh, the out of pocket the out of pocket number for 2018. Will be about six hundred billion dollars. So our market potential for the out-of-pocket, which is what we're talking about, six hundred billion. Care Credit two years ago they did eight billion. There's a lot of room, a ton of room. Can you can you, hey, you say that with how much? What, what was that out-of-pocket? Six hundred billion or six billion? Hundred billion. So think of think of it this way. Here's how here's how wow. you know that you can rationalize the number. The, the uh, the, the total healthcare spend in the country two years ago, uh, three years ago, was 3.2 trillion. Um, I haven't seen a number for this year, but I suspect it's about 3.5 trillion. <coughs> and, and and 600 billion of that, you know, one seventh. I, I was surprised it's only 600 billion. Yeah, yeah. you know, right? and, and care that credit, also. Care credit, Two years ago, did eight billion. Care credit was, you know, and that's with people being turned away. Yeah, that's exactly right. That would, and they only approve about twenty-five percent of the people who apply. Doesn't matter, you know, regardless of what they say in marketing. I, I, Brett and I've worked over the last couple of years. Brett and I've met and worked with a couple of people who used to um, help ex executive positions in care credit. So we know exactly how they work. We we know precisely what they do because we talk to them. That's, that that explains why, for three years, not Brett and I never gave up. We just kept looking for the. Net. We just kept looking because the market's too big to get to give up because the, the need is massive, and it's not getting any better. All right. Well, can you throw um, some bigger numbers in there? Like we we were planning. Some, can you can you go back in that plan there and throw in some bigger numbers so see. they can kind of see like. Let's say you have you a thousand. Like, this, you, these yeah. are some smaller numbers, yeah. Yeah, you got a thousand. You got to do a thousand plans a month, um, and you're and you're growing. 
Yeah, now okay, look at look at these these are monthly these are monthly numbers. And this is very doable and real for sales rep getting out there. It's a very easy close, very easy program, and they have a track record. So this is very, you know, you know we, we even ran some even higher numbers. You know, if you go into a place that has, you know, their average is like 10,000, you know, that's a 3,000 right there. But, you can, you know, you start popping in some other numbers and bigger numbers, this can really get big on you. Well, if you would just, um, you could go Google this. Go Google, um, like, health, HCA, Healthcare of America. Um, and, and Google or, or any hospital in wherever your local market is, ask them, find out what's their um, um, their patient write-off. You know, they're not write-offs. They can't write them off. There's no tax advantage. But but how much of the patient responsibility did they not collect last year? And for big systems, the numbers will shock you. I think, too, once you get out there and you start closing some deals, doctors know doctors. Like some of the doctors I know, they know a lot of doctors. They'll start recommending. You'll get probably a lot of referrals of people coming in. Hey, I want to get set up on that program. Hey, you know, you know, it, this is a definitely a high referral type industry also. That's correct. That, uh, we've experienced that. Now, does this work with chiropractors, too? Is, are they considered doctors? Of course. Any health any care. Yeah, absolutely. Any health care. I've got a bunch okay. of them. His clients already. So physical therapist and those two? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Jeremy, you want to take wanna over? Go and have me show the back office now, Vince? Yeah, you take it. Yeah, and show them all the industries on that first page or so they kind of get an idea. And let's round this all up right, if you me. could, Jeremy, in the next uh, five to ten minutes, okay? For the time. Sounds good. All right, is everybody able to see my screen now? Yep, I see it. All right, excellent. So this is the description tab. <clears throat> so we got a nice little video, and we actually have more videos that uh, were provided over to us today, which I will be getting in. In here, most likely those will be uh, in the training tab along with the recording of this call today. And there is a little hyperlink right here. Click here to start your enrollment. So that is where you would um, provide that link or sign a doctor up. Really easy sign up process. Uh, I know Dave went over how easy to sign up a patient and to get a doctor signed up is really no more difficult than a doctor getting a patient financing uh, plan put together. And here's a little bit. Um, of information, which I think Dave covered a lot of that, cost of billing, collections, all of that. Now, this is what we were just talking about as far as some industry types, and there's more. There's obviously a lot of other, you know, types of industries in the medical space, but if we look at dental, dermatology, med spas, uh, uh, veterinarians, ophthalmology, chiropractors, physical therapy, plastic surgery, orthopedics, regenerative medicine, cosmetic, diabetes and metabolic special uh, specialists, dietitians, funeral homes, hearing aid, neurology, oncology, oral surgery, orthodontics, periodontics, urology, endodontist, um, you know, and, and the list can, can go on from there. Those were some of the ones that we listed because, you know, those are a little bit more common. You know, you got your dental, dermatology, med spas, veterinarian, chiropractor, like you were talking about, Mike, physical therapy. So those are, the, you know, some of the more popular industries or, or that uh, we, we would probably be more familiar with, not to say that that's the entire list and that's all um, that fiscus care and benefits can support. So it goes on from there, but that's just some of what we listed just to kind of give you guys an idea of, of who you can go and talk to. It's pretty much anybody, like Dave said. If it's medical, go talk to them. It, they qualify. Uh, this is a little bit about Fiscus Care. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to read through this, but uh, you guys can go in here and take a look. Um, FAQs, we're going to be adding more to this like we do with a lot of products. We'll add to it as things kind of come up. And um, we're going to add a section as well, probably in um, 
a tab that only us as advisors can have access to, which will be frequently asked questions that apply to us as sales reps, you know, like when are you getting paid and, and all of those types of things, because we don't want to put that in here where a member can go and see those types of questions. But this right here, this hyperlink, this these are FAQs that can be provided to the medical professionals. And it's 15 pages, so there's a lot in here, and it's in a nice, very beautiful PDF. So that's the FAQ section. Um, reviews, uh, I'm working with Matt and Dave on that, on getting some uh, reviews in here. Like Dave mentioned, you know, it's been seven months, and I know they have a, you know, a really good track record and people who are more than happy with this program. We just kind of have to gather that up, and we'll get those in there. Uh, plans, pretty straightforward. Um, it's electronic enrollment, electronic sign-up. It's free. There's no monthly cost to have the doctors, uh, you know, have the dashboard. What we covered as far as the 10% benefits takes out 90% to the doctor, that's pretty. That's it. They're, they don't pay, you know, there's no $50 a month to have the software or anything like that. It's a completely free program to, to have, which is another great selling point because I'm sure that's a question that some doctors will ask, and I'm sure, Dave, you guys get that question, like, how much a month does the software cost? I'm sure you get that question, and the answer is there is no cost. Um, once a doctor is signed up, benefits will train them. They'll walk them through how to use the software, how to enroll a patient, which it's, we've already saw a demonstration of that. It's pretty straightforward. But we don't need to worry about training the doctor. Denefits will do that directly. This link right here is to Denefits uh, cal uh, Calendly calendar. So the doctor can click on that, find what day and what time works for him, his office manager, his entire staff, so on and so forth. The forms tab is pretty much identical. It's got the enrollment link again, as well as the Calendly link. Um, contact information, uh, we heard from Matt a little while ago, and, and Matt, I'll probably call on you just in a moment here, because I know you had a really good success story, uh, something that happened today that I'd like everybody to hear about, because it's very uh, inspiring, encouraging, exciting. And Dave, um, with your permission, I think it, it would be a good idea to have you in here as well. So um, I'll go ahead and get you added in here, if that's all right yeah. with you. Uh, yeah, it's totally fine. Perfect. Training tab, we don't have anything in there. This video that we're on, or this uh, call we're having right now, that will be uploaded probably today, uh, later today, possibly tomorrow. Uh, support, that looks familiar. That's uh, kind of internal support. If you guys have questions, need me to jump in, help you guys with something, coordinate with Dave, with Matt, whatever the case may be, you guys get a hold of me. Uh, marketing tools right now, this is the actual link. So if we go back to the plans tab, this is hyperlinked, but it's actually this link right here. And then here's the actual Calendly link. So I wanted to put those in there for you guys as well, just in case you just want to shoot the link over to somebody in an email, you know, to a doctor, to a client. You can just copy that really quick and, and toss it on over. And then the commissions, we went over this. Now, this is just an image right here. If you guys click where it says, please click here, it'll take you over to our document library. You all, just follow the instructions. You're just going to type in Fiscus Care Commission Calculator. You'll see the little box pop up. You click on it. You'll have two options, either that's view online or download file. You'll select download file. That'll pop onto your PC, your smart device, your laptop, and you'll be able to save that right there to your desktop as an Excel spreadsheet. And you guys can go in there and play with the numbers like we were just doing a minute ago. You know, if it's higher volumes of financing or higher average plan amounts, you guys can go in there and play with it, adjust those numbers. I like it from a sales perspective because I can actually set goals for myself. Okay, if I want to do 10 new doctors, and I'm going to assume that every doctor will do about 10 finance programs in a month, what will that look like for me over time? So those are little different commission scenarios and goals um, we can all set for ourselves. This right here is just an example of an average $3,000 plan amount with a 10% down, average term being 30 months, 8% interest rate, 10 new doc signups a month with each of those 10 doctors doing 10 financing programs. And here's just kind of an example. And there's a little disclaimer that it is an example. It's not a guarantee, obviously. The doctors can write more or less plans per month. As sales reps, we can enroll more or less doctors per month. But this just kind of gives everybody somewhat of an idea of, of the earning potential. And it can grow 
and grow and grow, and those numbers can get very, very exciting really quickly, and it's so easy. I look at like this personally for me because most of you know I have a background in merchant services, and I have had doctor clients throughout my merchant services career. The thing is, what I what I really really excited about and, and wrapped my head around really quickly was this: if I go and close a merchant account, or any of us close a merchant account, we're going to get paid a residual based on how much credit card volume they're doing per month, right? And sometimes that can be pretty consistent, and those numbers can be good depending on how profitable that is. I look at th- I look at Fiscus Care in this program like like this: if I go in and I close a doctor on a merchant account. Really, when they're doing these patient finances, it's like they're almost signing up merchant accounts for you every single month that you're getting a residual on. So as opposed to having to go and close 10 doctors on their merchant account, you could go in one doctor and they could do 10 little mini merchant accounts for you every single month. I hope that makes sense, but that's kind of the analogy that I wanted to put out there because that's immediately where my brain went. I'm like, whoa, I did merchant services. Residuals are great. But these doctors are really writing new deals for me every single month. I only have to close them once, and they're just going to keep adding to my residual every month, and I don't have to do hardly anything unless I want to communicate with them more. But we don't have to. Benefits is going to train them. We have great support around this product. So one call closed, you may never need to talk to the doctor again, and they make you several hundred, several hundred or several thousand dollars in commission over over the years. So... That's really about all I have to say on that commission section here. And uh, like I mentioned, we will be adding more uh, videos that will help you guys, and I believe some of those videos can also be shared with the um, practices. They are practice or client-friendly as well. And then Dave and his team are in the process of actually sending over little one-page flyers with editable fields at the bottom where you guys can put your name, your email address and your phone number, and you can print as many of those as you would like and you know, take those down to the doctors, dentists, and all of that and hand them out with your contact information so if they need to call you back later if they have your information, uh, you know, Fiscus Care's contact, so we can personalize those for ourselves for our marketing efforts. Vince, anything or Dave that uh, you want to add to what I just covered and or are there any other questions out there before we wrap the call up? Sounds good. I would like to hear what Matt has to say about that exciting story. Absolutely. Um, and thanks for uh, giving me the shot to uh, end the call tonight. We have a surgery center out of San Antonio that actually launched today, and they put six patients on the plan today. Um, and not only did they put six patients on the plan, they're already reaching out to patients that they could have put on the plan if they had implemented this weeks ago. With that said, the average, so this is the average of the six plans, $3,500. But if they were able just to kind of throw some numbers out there, if they could get six a day on the plan at 30 a week, and we'll say there's 50 weeks in a year, you're looking at about 1,500 patients. And if they're doing an average of 3,500, you're looking at about that, that surgery center alone is looking a little over $5.25 million in a year right there. Now that average of 3,500 is on the lower end for that, sur- that particular surgery center. So one surgery center bringing in 5.25, which is six patients a day on that plan. Even if you cut that those numbers in half, you're still looking at, you know, you're still looking at an incredible what 2.7, a little under 2.7 million just in the one your one standalone surgical center, one account bringing that kind of revenue in. And there's some. There, earlier we were talking about the uh, hospitals. I think that uh, Dave kind of mentioned that HCA. Um, you know those numbers. I've been doing a ton of research, ton of research, and those numbers that Dave's referring to, even though he didn't mention them, um, they're upwards of 175 million dollars that one hospital system could be. Uh, you know that's the that's the type of uh, payments. You know the payments that they're missing out on these. You know, they're just not able to collect on it. I mean, $175 million in one hospital. I mean, if we can just focus, you know, efforts and just try to get into the right people there, I mean, it's just it's just endless. This, this solution, this patient program is endless. It's really exciting. And thank you, everybody, when for you taking s- the time and lasting as long as we have. 
when you guys say hospitals, are you like I think of Kaiser and John Muir and those? Are these hospitals like smaller, or is the, do they exist? Or what do you mean by hospitals? I'm talking about one single hospital. They all every hospital's got a uncollected um, out of uh, pocket patient expense. Every hospital has it. You can kind of insert name. Um, HCA is a huge hospital system down in Texas and surrounding states. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, right here, I'm actually located in the state of Michigan. I've got 42 rural hospitals in the state of Michigan. I'm knocking on every door. You know, every 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 hospital is writing this off. I'm not writing it off. They can't write it off, but they've got, you know, they they're looking at this and they don't have a plan. They don't have a solution. I got it. So we could go to Kaiser Permanente or John Muir if we had some relationships, these big hospitals. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Mike, you, you, you get a you get in a Kaiser or a John Muir and I I think you're you're probably good. She's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, my sister was high up at Kaiser. I need to go check with her. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, hey, this has been a fantastic call. Um, it's just an, an amazing program. This opportunity that is in front of us right now, is it's almost unbelievable. I mean, it, every once in a while you have those too good to be trues, and, and this one is just – it's amazing. You know, it's phenomenal, and I really appreciate Matt – Dave, Keith, Brett, all the questions that we've got. This has been a fantastic call. I know I learned a lot. I've been learning a lot by talking with Dave and Matt over the last few weeks, and I, I learned probably more today than I have over the last few weeks, and, and no offense to, to anybody when I say that, but this was just such a great call, and there were so many wonderful questions that got brought up. I can't thank everybody enough for being on today's call, and I'm really excited about moving forward with this. Yeah, like is Dave. Likewise, Jeremy. Thanks uh, for inviting us. We're excited to work with your your entire team. Um, and, uh, and and I think Vince said it early on. What is, what, what is so amazing about about what we're doing is we it, we're, we're meeting a need. The folks who have financial challenges, we're meeting them with a real need. This is something they need, and, and, it, and it's a, and it's something that nobody else can do. Nobody else is doing today. Nobody, uh, and so and so um, we can make money doing doing a whole lot of good. One thing also is, you know, I have talked to a few people, and they said there are some similar, but and when they say similar, they still want a check or credit, or they're going to run credit. Uh, you know, they're going to run the credit check on them and things like that. So this is a unique program where literally they can go in just with their. ID and get set up where some there, cause there are some other ones that go, Oh yeah, I had someone similar to that. But when you dig into it, they do not have it this easy, you know, or they want multiple forms of payment. They want the, they want the checking account. They want other things. And so there, there are some more difficulties to it than what meets the eye. And this one by far is the easiest, uh, most transparent, straightforward program out there. I mean, they can't, you can't dumb it down any lower than this and make it easier for the, for the patient and also for the doctor, which makes a great product. If you're a salesperson, that's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for something that's a no-brainer, easy, uh, and meet the needs of many people as possible. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I know this call went way over, but the nature of this call, there was just so much more to it, so we had to go over. So thank you for everyone that, was, that stayed on this call. Hopefully you learned a lot. Um, the numbers will be on there. Feel free to reach out to Matt and Dave. The number, like, uh, Jeremy will get the number in there for you. And uh, we really appreciate everyone. There was a lot of people that were not able to make it on this call. I've already talked to them. I'll be sending the uh, – I'll be getting this video together, but this is, you know, not only can you make a bunch as a sales rep, you can go out there and you get a nice little team underneath you going out there. And can you imagine every day just, you know, once you get these things set up, they're they're out there, like Jeremy said, just signing up uh, patients one after another, day after day, you know, and uh, you've put some numbers on the board. This can really grow into some high, high numbers, and, and you can not touch it anymore and, and make a residual the rest of your life on this. This could be, you know, you know, for or many years to come. I'd be, you know, for you for the work you do, and not have to necessarily even go back and even touch it. Just get them set up on the program. 
So with that being said, I appreciate everyone on the call. Thank you very much, and uh, everyone have a good day. 